Got a lot down in there, you know, it's pretty much taking a, taking a carton off of this piece site here, putting it into the tunnel, developing all these sites. We're talking to uh, Mike Spalletta for Platinum Holding Gold Dolphins. I'm doing a whole bunch of development development options in here for the parking down here and a collaboration on that. So you can see what, you know, when I talk about some of these ideas, this is the reason for it. And you know, we're trying to fill in the toothless smiles around here of the, the vacant buildings, you know, that happen. Like I say, Main Street was a main route of, of Rochester. The canal, as I said earlier, delivered goods to it. So, so these buildings actually, this is the back door of their building. Now we're switching that around and now making both the front and back door open to these open these buildings here. But like I said before, there was a lot of buildings all in here. The density was heavy. So we're trying to recapture a lot of that stuff. Like I say earlier, one of the one of the main things was actually rewatering, and that's actually further down. You know, actually putting the water down there, and what that does is a lot of development down here. They like the idea of bringing water in because you can develop downtown anywhere. You can do warehouses, lofts, everything downtown. But they actually have water at your front doorstep next to a river with a canal, with this history all kind of blending in. Authentic history, not, not recreated. You know, what you see in a lot of areas is kind of this, what I call fake, the fake historical look. But I mean, the authentic, the authenticity of, of this area here is really genuine. So kind of capturing that with our waterfront would be big. Park all day in the subway, five bucks. Nice. Get rid of these unsightly parking lots, that's for sure. See the jail over there? City school district. <laughs> Get rid of the parking meters and put those in. Kind of doing walk and shoot here. Walk and shoot. <laughs> Walking down Broad Street with a camcorder running. Weird. Not an RPD in sight. <laughs> Could rest me for filming. Taking pictures in Rochester. <laughs> Since I don't have a special use permit. <laughs> There's no way I would even buy one. <laughs> they haven't upgraded that. Lost people. You what? I don't see those walk signals much anymore. No. No, that's one of the few left. They, they need to be all over D.C. too. <laughs> well, they were everywhere here. That's one of the few that hasn't been done. I don't know why. Mm. I'm sure there's some silly reason for it. the billboard for the uh, ambulance chaser clowns up there. <laughs> Dumb and dumber. <laughs> Worth and less. Gutter and trash. Whatever. <laughs> Dad would so agree with me on that. <laughs> of course, they're the ones who have the jingle that gets stuck in your head. Oh, it doesn't get stuck in my head. It was in one ear and right out the other. You're used to it. Yeah, pretty much. You're used to it, and I don't listen to Rochester Radio that much. Dad freaks out every time he hears it. <laughs> like, just <laughs> get over it. Seriously. Yeah. Like it, or don't listen to the radio, watch TV, or do yeah, anything else. It's but that was kind of sort of like that when we were down here. Uh, County's really yeah, county's still probably trying to get rid of it. It's full of asbestos, I assume. I would guess. I don't know. 
<laughs> in the early 60s, so yeah. Right. This building here is a terminal building next year. This is all going up for residential developers to rehab this building right now. Oh. Uh, I forget there's like, I think, 140 units in there. Uh, the academy building, which is right next to the church here, uh, is all residential. That's fully leased. This is all the county operations here. This building here is one of the most historic we have downtown. Old City Hall. This, and actually right around the corner here is the first house in downtown. Or not the first, one of the first remaining houses downtown. Uh, this is Old City Hall here. Interesting story with Old City Hall. If you look at the front face alignment of it, if you look at the, the bridge in the background there in Broadway, it kind of goes off to the right a little bit. This goes straight. And the reason why it goes straight, if you remember, I told you, the very first canal was actually 50 feet north of the one we walked on. This aligns with the very first one. And then they built the other one next to it, like 50 feet away, way up there by the brick building. So, so hence the alignment, you can see the alignment. A lot of people, don't, you know, they look at it like, oh, why that building is kind of like skewed, you know, it's off center and all that, you know. But that's the purpose, that's the reason why it aligns with the original canal and not the the revised canal that was done in 1842. So, kind of interesting stuff there. Huh. Oh. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A whole different sound <laughs> in Carolina. The tinkly bells. <laughs> the broke the broke alarm. <laughs> yeah. The U of R is too stupid to maintain it, so it's falling into disrepair, and yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah. Irving Place. Yeah, whatever, whatever, uh, whenever we go up, whenever we go up there to like broadcast a Carolina concert or something, we always hear uh, uh, Doris complaining about how they don't, they don't, they never have money to maintain it because, of course, the university sends it to useless things. Yeah. Like um, modding certain elevators. Yeah, facilities blows it on stuff that doesn't need to be done. And facilities blows it on stuff that doesn't need to be done. Matter. Instead of going to this care lot, they, they, they altered all. It's all gone now, but they used to put the paper... Right where we're standing was basically where, was the warehouse where the paper rolls were. That's the Gannett newspaper building over there. Yep. And then these windows had these huge printing presses. And back in the heyday, back in the, the 1920s, 30s, people would look in these windows and you could see the paper all being printed in that and going through the rolls and everything. Oh, yeah. People would line up here just watching it. They were still doing that in the 80s when my yeah, they probably were. And then the, when Dad took us in there. Once again, they stored the paper down below us here. Uh, I'm not sure where everyone's parked. Are you parked? Where's everyone parked? In the garage over there? Or where are you guys at? Back by the entrance to the... Okay, okay. All right. This here, this building here is up for sale now. This is all residential. They're redeveloping this. Gannett has actually built a new headquarters, probably like, I don't know, about four or five blocks down in Midtown, Midtown. site. So this yep. is all being restored here. Huh. This yeah, building right here is the place where this one has got the, the wings on the top. You saw from the distance there. Yep. That, yeah, I guess evidently you guys may be giving a tour of it or something. This kind of an annual foundation. Thing, yeah. This was laid in 1929. Uh, the Times Square was a Mr. bank Calibre's. at one time. Uh, this Gen one's got a big museum from here, but it's got the Art Deco building with a big piece. With the three modded cool. Schindler 400 A's and the manual days. These buildings are just yep. gorgeous inside. I mean, just gorgeous. Yeah, they are. The bells are nice. It's not the Carillon, so it's really nice. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the Carillon, but... Yeah. Lastly here, if you look at the image, here's where we were right out here. This is the water, the water in the canal. We were standing in the middle of that. That's before they decked it over. So that's what I was telling you about before. Like, if they go back to rewatering, that's kind of the look it would be. This is the building right next to us here with the wings on it. Oh, yeah. Wings of progress. <laughs> And then the statue of Mercury, which you can't see, is actually on this brick building right in front of this brick to us, to the left side in a way. It used to be over here where the War Memorial is, where the Blue Cross Arena is. That used to be Kimball Tobacco Factory. And he put the statue of Mercury there on his tobacco factory. Then for some odd reason, it went into stores for many years. And then 
and then Thompson Reuters resurrected it and put it on their building. So this this guy's traveled around a little bit here. Yeah. Vintage Lexan's in there. Hey, Lexan Black Buttons. That's yeah. Did yeah, I didn't know about that. Yeah. You gotta get to it. That's different color bricks yeah. in the building. Oh, yeah. That's the old, this is actually the older one here. The original, like I told you, the original Erie Canal went straight through where that building was. The middle portion was not there. So the, so the canal actually went that way about 50 feet. And then over the years, they kind of merged the two buildings and built that wing in between the two. So you can see the different color bricks and the different age, ages of it all. Oh, yeah. Our building. Before that it was the West Group, before that it was the Lawyers Co-op. My friend Shirley, the retired cop, she was the secretary at the Lawyers Co-op. No. <laughs> I had to think whether I wanted to say yes or no. Yeah, yeah the question is, when it was the West Group, was that the same West Group that had its world headquarters in that building in the final? I don't know. The river, the library's right over there, it was underneath the library where we started. Yep. But you can see, what happens is the raceway would come through, it'd go into the library, and I was telling you earlier, you probably don't remember, what. there's brick arches underneath this structure. It would go from there into this brick building over here. This is Ely Hervey's original flour mill. If you look, there's an opening down by the river edge, way down at the bottom. The water still comes through there. The water still goes in there. In that building is a 25-foot waterfall inside that building. So it would come in and the wheels would turn and spin in there, and that was a large flour mill. The building right here, and you see the two different colored bricks, as I was telling you about earlier, this is the Thompson Reuters building. This was a bookbinding building. Water came in, there was mills all along this side. It came in underneath, flowed into this building, spun all the turbines, generator power, and came out of that slot right down to the bottom. You can see that door, that, that gate gate structure that would lift up and down. There's right now, underneath the aqueduct, I didn't point out as we're walking, there was actually a whole reservoir of water buried underneath there that you walked over. The water is still in there, and the whole raceway is still established down in there. Pretty cool stuff, but it would come in and go down into there, come out of that end piece there, and then it would spin all the turbines in that book, in that building there. Waterfall inside the building. That's kind of cool. Considering it's a rough gas as an estimates building. I mean, ridiculous gas and electric. I mean, retarded gas and electric. I mean, uh, uh, RGE, uh, uh, Rochester gas and electric. That's it. I never can remember what the R stands for. <laughs> oh yeah, rip off gas and electric, <laughs> which is more appropriate. Those of us who have to pay those, um, well, I'm not gonna say this on camera. <laughs> I'll save that for later. <laughs> Ben's heard it before. The water's actually really clean. What happens is about 30 miles, 40 miles south of here, it's crystal clear. I mean, definitely pristine water south of here, about 30 miles. 
what happens is between here and Avon, a little further south, Danville, about 30 miles down that way, you have a lot of rural areas, you got a lot of farmland. And basically every time it rains, all the all the dirt, everything along the banks falls into the water, mixes it up, up so you have a huge content of just dirt and clay and farm material all coming in and it mixes with the water down there and you can watch you can see satellite images of that. You know, clean as a whistle and all of a sudden starts to pick up all the soil, starts to erode all the banks down there and then this is what we're left with here. <laughs> You know, probably it's probably this color maybe 50% of the time. Some of the time when it's running much slower, it's a lot clearer and, and, and I think normal looking, I guess. <laughs> all this is, is really mud from the farmland south of Dead bodies, dead cars, <laughs> chemicals from Kodak. <laughs> I that way a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah, we've, uh, we've smelled that. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, you can actually see down in there. You can see the water right down that hole. Yep. Nice. Groovy. Jenny, yay! <clears throat> the ones that, as soon as you don't pay your bill, the worthless thugs come along and uh, turn you off. <laughs> yep. No matter when, where, or for what. And I'm being literal on the thugs. <laughs> they, you know hire thugs to come deal with you <laughs> and shut your service off. Yeah. Oh look, there's people down there. Hi people. Smile, you're gonna be on YouTube. Yeah. You're on candid camera. Oh that's probably trademarked. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Straight down. I know, but I didn't know that. That's the first business on it in my life. Oh, it's five blocks out there. Okay. Alright. Yeah, now the Eastman School of Music then? For those that are adventurous, all, right. all we have to do is hop uh, on the riverway and put us right back at the UAR. I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank uh, you. It's, Thank it's you. Area you. No one else sees a lot of, believe me. It's very, not too many people go down there. So yes. A little different experience of. Uh, you know, the underbelly of Rochester, more or less. So, there you go. Anyways, have a great day. Good luck in all your studies. Oh I can wait to see All right. All right. Thank, yeah, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Yeah. Be safe. Oh, yeah. Right. So, who's going in your car? Who I wants have, to go in this car? Who wants to go? I have four seats other than me. Can I go? I guess yep. that'll be it. Okay. Say bye. No, I have three seats. Bye.